The Steel City might be most associated with its legendary NFL franchise, but people here in Pittsburgh know that the ties to the Panthers run deep. Glad to have you with us here at AccraSure Stadium, home to the Pittsburgh Panthers. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Syracuse Orange, taking on a fellow ACC opponent, the Pittsburgh Panthers. 48 Sports College Football. Lined up, ready for the opening kickoff as we get things underway. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Syracuse Orange will go on offense first. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that the fans are all talking about it, but it's just football. The play-action fake. He'll off one deep down the left side. And the incomplete pass taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. Looking downfield, it's McCord. Feeling some heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Well, he had nowhere to go with the ball, guys. And the defense is in nickel. Great job by the DBs in coverage. No receivers open. The Orange will have to punt. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Running it back, it's gone. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. The Panthers' offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Direct snap. Open space at the 25. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough and they'll mark it at the 23. Pitt coming to the line after getting another first down. He'll do it himself. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Line getting set on second down. Off the play fake. Tight end finds a soft spot. I wonder how much fun this is for him. The head coach trying to take down the old alma mater across the way. Yeah, I think these are always mixed emotions and how you feel about this, playing your old squad. Like, it's something about it, I'm sure, that's nostalgic. And all the memories probably come flooding back. But there's also a competitive element, Palmer, that you want to beat this squad. Like, this is, this is the next team in your way for you accomplishing your goals and dreams. Yeah, he's probably experiencing the emotional spectrum coming into this game, but make no mistake about it. He has to separate himself from his past allegiances and understand he's the home team. He wants this crowd to get in this football game. You know he just gave a rousing speech to his guys in the locker room before taking the field. He wants to win this game versus his alma mater. To the air, it's Holstein. Steps away to find some room. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that.
Getting set for the point after. On for the extra point. And the extra point makes it 7-0. And he made sure that good field position paid off going 45 yards. And he got into the house from the 6 to finish it. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Syracuse right back at it. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. He'll pull it down. And couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. Syracuse will send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block. It's gone. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. And the offense out on the field to go back to work. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Let's see what they've got on second down. Now they'll run the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Looking to throw at Tolstein. Pocket starts to collapse. The quarterback scrambled around with the defense, able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field, and we're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done. Pitt will have to boot this one away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got great speed. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Yeah, and I love the timing routes. A nice curl route, great throw, and then catch the ball, get north south, and get some good yards after the catch. And the stiff arm was strong, but the defense was stronger, and they stop him for a short game. We anticipate this one being much tighter than the last time these two met when it was a blowout, David. And here's the thing you got an opportunity right now. You got the football early in this game to show you this is going to be more of the same, Palmer. Well, we talked to both coaching staffs and players, and they're all very aware of what happened the last time these two teams played. So expect everybody's A game today, Reese, you're right. We expect this one to be a lot tighter. Movement here from the tight end. With the run on first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. Pulled down after picking up five to the six-yard line. Syracuse right back at it. Wants to throw for it on third and goal. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. And they'll send out the field goal unit. And this one splits the uprights. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. 
Liberty went on the road and just dominated. And that's one way to grab some serious attention. Make a statement in someone else's house and prove you're legit. And did the Flames ever do that? A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. He'll start this drive firing. Throws to the wideout. It's caught downfield. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. Wants to throw. It's Holstein. Finds the tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big kick up, and they have a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Trying to find his man on first down. Got a man. It's Lee. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Getting some heat. Ryan's his big tight end. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Pittsburgh going to work with a fresh set of downs. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. He got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. They try to pop a run on the draw. Stop just inside the 30 at the 29. It's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Pittsburgh has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Knocked down after a gain of one to the 27. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run play action. Quarterback floating away from pressure. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Pittsburgh now has it in the red zone. Right back to the well. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll try the run. And he'll finish the run at the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. They just took the air out of that thing. That might be an understatement. They took the ball away and just wore down, just grinded away at that defense. And took a lot of time off the clock in the process as well. I'm impressed with the physicality up front of this offense, because that's where it all starts. If you're going to march the ball down the field like they just did, you've got to be dominating in the trenches, and they are doing that in this game right now. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Coming out with it, it's Haynes. He stopped there, but a good return coming out of his own end zone gets it to the 28. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David. Only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Right? The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early. In this one, they just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. 
hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Ball still at the 45 after the incompletion. They'll snap it second and 10. The inside handoff. Shakes off the tackler. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. And the defense is there to stop him short of the first down. Syracuse will be forced to punt. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball? Mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse. That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. Through the air, it's Holstein. He hurls one deep down the left side. Smart offensive coordinators, they're going to throw deep balls, especially those 50-50 balls you hear about all the time. My wide receiver is better than your DB. Well, not on this play. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. So we'll see the offense on the field to start this drive. They'll throw it on first down. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. They're bringing heat. And the sack all the way back at the five. Things working pretty well for this defense out of the dime package and still getting plenty of heat on the quarterback. Get off the rock. Understand the situation. All the fast guys got the back end covered. It's my job to seek and destroy the quarterback. Great job by the defensive line and rushing after that guy and getting him on the ground. The Orange will have to punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll bring it back. It's gone. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Fires to the wideout. On target to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. He wants to throw, looking to buy time. Hard running there. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Here on third down for this offense. Gives it to the back on the draw. Gets behind those pads. Picks up four on the play. But it's still a fourth down and three. And they'll send out the field goal unit. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And now the lead is even bigger. kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it out. It's Haynes. 
Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be... He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it's an incomplete pass on the deep shot, but the flag is down. Let's check the call. Look at the pass, pass, defense. You just can't hit the quarterback like that. The defender got caught red-handed. To the air on first down. Let's it go. Complete to the left. And he's running in the open. Just what they were looking for. A huge explosive play in there inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Going for six. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Syracuse. Syracuse. Yeah, coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring. So they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they close it to 17-10. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Louisiana Tech was able to cap off a close one in Ruston with a narrow victory. And that's the mark of a solid program. Pile up wins, build on games like these, and remain focused on the big picture. It's one game, you don't want to react too much either way, but I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. We've reached the two minute warning and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Mumpfield. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. And the Panthers will have it first and ten. He's going to pass. Buys a little extra time. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. The offense sets up shop at the 46 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. To the air. It's Holstein. And the defense will corral the quarterback. And down he goes at midfield. The defense coming up big there. And the sack is great. But the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few and you feel comfortable getting home and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. We got a timeout here late in the first half and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Pitt will line up to punt it away. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Offense getting set for first down. He's looking to throw it. Finds his man. It's Allen. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Lofts one high and deep. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Trying to get to it. 
The ball's free. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Nice job by the defense there. They're trying to get to the quarterback. And you see those arms, they're flailing. They're swatting at that football. They're trying to get the ball out of the QB's hands. Those long arms by those D linemen, man. They were able to get that ball loose. The Pitt offense back on the field and ready to roll. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chop. Nowhere to go with the ball, and down he goes at the 39. They'll immediately call timeout. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He'll pull it down and run. Across the 25, he's got room. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. He wants to throw. That's reeled in. It's Reed. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He wants to pass it on second down. Coming after it. He just tossed that one out of bounds. You avoid the sack, you avoid the turnover, you've got more plays here on third down. To the air, it's Holstein. Makes the catch! And you know, if you're the receiver there, you just want to know where the sticks are. Maybe extend your route a little bit more so that you know you get the first down after making the catch. Fourth and short now. Let's see what they do. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. They'll come out and take a knee and that should send us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you Rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Syracuse has it teed up, ready to kick off and start this second half. He'll bring it out. It's gone. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. He'll start this third quarter with a run. Sweet spin. Oh, the sweet spin, and he's free. Oh, that move is going to leave them dizzy. The Panthers are in the hurry up. Well, there's the offense trying to take advantage of this running back speed. I like the call. Hand off to the left, to the outside. Put him in space and let him go to work. They'll ride the hot hand. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. That's the 20. He's got space. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. Pittsburgh going to work with a fresh set of downs. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. 
And that's not the way they drew it up. It's incomplete. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Off the bootleg. Wants to throw it. He's moving out of the pocket. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Pitt! They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way. Though. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time in this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 27, Syracuse. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on it. Looking for a man. It's McCord. Fires to the right. And they won't make the connection going for the big play. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Sometimes you wonder if rivals really don't like each other. This guy sure doesn't like anybody on the other side. He's tackling everybody. And that's the kind of defender I want. The guys who don't like people. They love collisions. They love to throw their body around. Jesse, he's been all over the field. And this guy's good week in, week out, right? But in this game, he just seems like he's more dialed in. And he's playing at a different intensity level right now than I think anybody else on the field. Really nice job all the way around. Got a few blocks, made a couple of moves, and a good return on that one before he's pushed out of bounds. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Mumpfield. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. They'll try to get the first through the air. Makes the grab down the middle. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Quarterback adapting. He'll try to do it himself. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Second down coming up. Looking to throw, it's Holstein. Now he's going to break the pocket. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. Well, the problem with the play-action game is that it forces the QB to hold on to the ball just a little bit longer to allow some of these plays to develop. And, of course, that gives this defense longer to get after him. After that sack, the O-line better get its act cleaned up. Third down coming. Feeling some heat. 
And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. And I tell you what, if I'm this QB, I am ill as a hornet in my offensive line. Are you kidding me? That's the sixth time they put me on the ground. Dudes, will y'all protect me a little bit better, please? Pitt will have to boot this one away. They'll have to punt for the fourth time today. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return team. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. He'll keep it himself. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Syracuse right back at it. Now the play fake. Snagged on the outside, it's Hatcher. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Wants to throw on third down. Pressure coming. Caught near the sticks, it's Allen. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback. In Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. They'll run it from the gun. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Syracuse has a really nice drive going. Comes out throwing on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. Still on his feet at the 45. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. Syracuse ready to go to work with another first down. Hand off from the gun. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. Got three on first down at second and seven. Now he's looking to throw it. Quickly to the tight end. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. They'll throw on third and short. Deep shot for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cuse. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this will be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own, so you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it. You can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to pass, it's Holstein. They're trying to get to it. Crosses the 30, he's got away. Nifty little scamper on this first down, and he slides in safety. It's just so hard to stop 
There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field and there's nothing you can do about it. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Goodness gracious, this is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game, are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. He's going to take off at the 45 on his way. And the explosive play, they're on the move all the way to the 44. Pitt pushing the pace. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. The pull and throw off the RPO. Finds a crease at the 20. Touchdown, Panthers! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. First down here for the offense. Used the play fake, now to throw. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Catch inside the 25. Touchdown, Orange. Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. And so many times the safeties tell the tape, and that's what QBs are studying and reading, and he drops back, and you can tell. He sees his receiver coming from the right side, and he knows exactly where he's going to end up with that post, pushes the ball down the field for the big play, got the safety out of position, made the big touchdown throw. The 18 unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Pittsburgh has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, and you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working, Dave. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. A third and long coming up here. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. Pitt will line up to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He gets a block. 
The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up his offense nicely. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if he's going to let one fly down the middle. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Dropping back, it's McCord. Shoots it to the left. Got him downfield. At the 20, he's got space. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. The huge explosive play put them right on the doorstep, and now they've got to punch it in. They'll try to pound their way in. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. All right, he up to add another. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. Man, and it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David. And after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. Grab near the marker. It's Reynolds. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Floating away. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. Well, this offensive line has got to do a better job. They've now given up way too many sacks. This poor quarterback is running for his life. They've got to shore up and do a better job on the offensive line. They gave up the sack on first down. Now it's second and 11. Leaves it with the back. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. And that last run leaves them with a third down. Well, they keep it on the ground. Back to throw, it's Holstein. Extending the play. He's going to run it. Keeps it himself and gets the first. Open space at the 25. And after the huge scramble, he slides and gets down. Terrific run to get out of trouble. By time, he can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just... Oh, no, the ball popped out. And the defense grabs it, and they're taking it the other way. And that was the biggest play of the game. They've got the lead offensively. They're trying to run this thing out. He coughs it up. The defense jumps on it, and all of a sudden, this game has a different feel.
the Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take... Oh, look out! He's at the 30. The 10! Touchdown, Syracuse! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. Ball security going to be paramount this time, Jesse. Yeah, and, and sense of urgency, too. They're trailing in this game right now. The turnover wasn't great, so David, they really got to be able to put something positive together on this drive. Put something positive together. Be aggressive, but don't be reckless. Can't have any more of those turnovers. Quickly complete. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that. They'll put in play from the 41 on first down. From the gun, running back on the move. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. To throw, it's Holstein. He's got his man. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Hit right back to the line. This is a receiver who's so dangerous once he has the football in his hands. That's a simple slant pass, but after he catches it, he's able to work in the middle of the field, finds the open green, and get the first down. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. They move the tight end all over. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll run it to the left here, looking for the goal line. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. A huge chance for points here on third and goal, and if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. They stop him short as he was trying to scramble and find his way to the goal line. Down in the final period in a tight game, and they will go for it on fourth and goal. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Finds a crease at the 20. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Wouldn't be surprised to see them go right back to the run on second down and maybe put this thing away. Running back searching for a hole. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Dropping back, it's McCord. Getting some heat. Trying to escape and get it himself. And he is corralled short of the line to gain. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. 
And a precision punt there will pin them deep inside their own 10-yard line. The offense starts this drive in the shadow of its own end zone. That's caught. It's Reed. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. He's going up top here late in the game. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TD so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with the W. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. They're bringing heat. He did not get there, and they'll have to give up the football, and they might have just seen this game slip away. Happy with the situation, the quarterback will take a knee. Guys, I'm going to tell you, I just never saw this team falling into a three-game losing streak. They are wounded, reeling, and they've had their confidence shaken. It's been ugly. There's no other way to spin it. This is very ungood, not good. Um, Got to find some way to get this turned around. Got to make more plays. Um, you know, this is something that's frustrating, but let's not let it define your dynasty, right? Fix it, get it back together, try to pull some wins, try to figure this thing out. It's frustrating too, David, because this is a team that has a lot of talent. I think part of the problem these last couple of games now has been lack of effort. So if you're on the coaching staff, Maybe you're ready to start giving new guys an opportunity to see the field and just see what they can do. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.